Hello everyone, uh, Nova Lion here. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different because um, uh, so I recently uh, was able to have the privilege of smelling uh, Bay Rum. This one is by uh, what you call it. I got this in a kit from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements or phoenixshaving.com and uh, I like the smell uh, but I've been seeing videos saying that you can um, make your own uh, bay rum so that's what I'm going to be attempting today uh, for the the brands of the stuff that I'm using I'm not going to show but I will tell you what what I'm putting in there uh, you can go try your own brands um, but I'm just doing it this way because um, this is what I had available to me. Uh, the recipe calls for uh, Jamaican rum, but I'm going to be using Puerto Rican rum. And it's a very high alcohol content. So um, first thing first, I'm going to put all the dry ingredients. I'm going to be using this mason jar here to store it. It's just a ball uh, amber uh, mason jar. It calls for 15 bay leaves. It says use East Indian bay leaves, but I couldn't find any of those. So I'm using Turkish bay leaves. They smell really good. 15 of those. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We'll put a little bit more just for extra measure, you know, just to make sure. I'm gonna break them up a little bit in the thing. I don't know if this is gonna help it or not. I've never made something like this before. So this is my first time, but as I'm breaking them, I can smell. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, she can smell it. Uh, so next, I'm gonna be putting some nutmeg in mine. calls for allspice but I don't have any allspice there was only a couple things I had to buy so I got the nutmeg oh, where's the camera right here it's going in there one teaspoon of nutmeg Uh, cinnamon it calls for one cinnamon stick I'm going to put the fat one in there I think I'm going to break it in half so it can release its goodness there I just broke it like that Uh, doesn't call for cloves, but I like the smell of cloves, so I'm going to put about six or seven cloves. The reason I'm closing my eyes like that is because um, I just got home from work not too long ago and I'm tired. Four... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, about about eight cloves. Um, I'm not gonna put that many of the cloves because you know clove is a, is a strong uh, smell. I'm gonna be crushing those up in my pistol and mortar. I also use this as a as a shave bowl. The only downside to it is kind of heavy, but I'm only holding it long enough to build a lather so crush clothes I just broke them up a little bit
uh, next one I'm going to be putting in is some peppercorns. And here they are right here. Something on. Put about five or six of those. A few of those. starting to smell really good uh, go ahead and put a, a few more bay leaves in there and then uh, I'm gonna do one teaspoon of ginger powder we all know how strong ginger is, so I'm only going to be doing one teaspoon of that. Yeah, that's good enough. One teaspoon of ginger. All right. That calls for... Um, four ounces of rum have this anchor uh, measuring glass here it's got I like it because it's got ounces teaspoons uh, it's also got uh, tablespoons and milliliters on there As I'm, uh, as I was making, as I started getting the stuff together, I was gonna put some alum in there, but I don't know how, how that's gonna react with the alcohol. I went a little over four ounces. Four ounces. It was. I, I did four and a half. That's okay. Pour that off in there. And uh, I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna put some essential oils in there as well. Orange flavor or orange scent. Oops. Ten drops. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, the reason I put this in the essential oils in right after the alcohol is because alcohol dissolves the. Uh, the drops. I'm gonna put a little bit of frankincense in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Oh, that smells really good. The smell kind of reminds me of church. And then I'm also gonna put uh, some cedar wood. My wife is over there testing my patience. There we go, put some cedar wood. And give it a little swirl to dissolve the essential oil. I should have put it in while it was in the cup. In the basso. Oh, good. Okay. Um, calls for one ounce of rose water. I don't have actual rose water, but I do have uh, some rose. Um, witch hazel. Put an ounce of that in there. Boom. 
And then it calls for eight ounces of witch hazel. I'm gonna use a uh, lemon witch hazel. Uh, feel free to use whatever kind you want. But I'm gonna use lemon because uh, I like the lemon scent. It's very fragrant. I don't know why it's foaming. I guess because it's mixing with the alcohol. Can't wait to see what this is gonna smell like at the end of. So that was four ounces. Get a napkin to wipe the rest of this foam out. Makes eight ounces. Here it is, right there. Then it asks for a, an ounce of glycerin, but I don't have glycerin. So instead of glycerin, I'm going to use um, I'm going to use uh, aloe, aloe gel. To get an ounce, I will be doing uh, two tablespoons because two tablespoons equals one ounce. tablespoon of aloe gel. I keep hearing that music come up. I know it's her making noise because she wants to annoy me. She thinks it's funny. She thinks it's funny that I'm doing videos. Babe! Babe, stop playing music, babe. They're going to mute the sound on, on my video for copyright violations. I don't know if that's true, but... Hmm... Uh, 
believe that was it. That was everything that goes in there. Oh, I forgot the vanilla. See, I was gonna do fresh vanilla, but then I found out that one vanilla bean uh, cost $11. So I'm gonna use vanilla bean vanilla extract one teaspoon you know what let me put let me do like one and a half almost two but that'll work dip that in there and get, get it all off That, 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 that. Witch Hazel. And that's it. Pay leaves. Put the lid on. It's a mason jar, so I'm gonna write today's date on it because uh, you're supposed to let this sit. Some place doesn't have to be dark, but some place that's cool or like room temperature, I guess. Uh, the only place that I can think of that we have like that is in my closet. Shake it up, blend everything good. like a lemony bay rum scent uh, I washed all the containers and everything beforehand I started to put coffee in it to see you know if that makes the, the smell change any, any, any better but because I was going to use uh, because I'm going to use because I'm using the uh, the lemon witch hazel um, I decided coffee would be out of line okay it doesn't smell like too much now because uh, all of the flavors and the scents or whatever you want to call it haven't really mixed in too well so uh, so that's it uh, now I just go set this in my closet put today's date on it go set it in my closet uh, they say six to eight weeks so all the flavors can blend and uh, co mingle, marry, whatever they call it. But that's it, guys. Uh, I set an alarm on my, a reminder on my phone to remind me to get the, uh, to get it out six to eight weeks from now. I think I'm going to go with eight weeks uh, so that way it has a lot of time to do what it's got to do. Um, but yeah, see how it comes out. If it comes out good, I was, I'm thinking about doing, uh, if it comes out good, I'm going to do a, um, a chai scented version of this stuff. Uh, except I'm probably going to see about getting maybe some, uh, perfumers alcohol. Because it's, um, what do they call it, denatured. Denatured alcohol. It doesn't smell like anything. That way we get all the smells of the 
of the of the the spice the spices that are going in it. Uh, nutmeg is one. Um, allspice, cardamom. Uh, I think ginger, vanilla. Uh, it's gonna be good. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, share the videos, comment. Uh, give me your ideas, your thoughts. Um, if you've done this before, uh, let me know how it went. How it went. How it turned out. Did it come out good? Um, I keep looking over to the right, to the left of the camera, but the lens is actually on the right side because uh, I have my camera, I guess, upside down. My head smells like lemon now. That's okay. But anyhow, uh, that's that's it. That's all I have to do with this. We're gonna see how it turns out. In a, in a few weeks several weeks I should say um, I'm going to do some more research on the alum thing if it dissolves I'm probably going to uh, pour a little bit of alcohol in a container and then drop some alum in there to see how it reacts um, obviously I'm going to do it outside so that way if it blows up it blows up out there and not in my face um But yeah, uh, now we gotta wait six to eight weeks. I wish I would have thought about this ahead of time and made some a long time ago. So that way, as soon as I did the video, I can just bring the one that I've been sitting there. I'll do that with the allspice thing. I mean the uh, the chai spice. Uh, aftershave when I get that when I get those ingredients I'll, I'll uh, make it up and then I'll do the tutorial and the reveal on the same day but um, yeah that's it I'm going to put all my ingredients away and thank you for watching thank you for subscribing liking share it comment on it uh, put it on your social media it'll be great uh, goodbye for now